So we recently left Indonesia and arrived in Turkey to spend the next two weeks road tripping the entire country. After leaving Istanbul, we arrived in Antalya to pick up our rental car and get a feel for the city and the roads. Today though, we're leaving for our first road trip, driving three hours west towards Kosh. And to be honest, I'm surprised we even made it before sunset because we had to stop so many times to check out the breathtaking views. This was the most beautiful coastal highway we've ever driven on and we're so excited to show you why you must must add this to your next trip in Turkey. So today is a brand new day guys. We've just left Antalya. We are passing through this amazing, beautiful little town on the way to Kos. I mean, let me just show you how gorgeous this place looks. If you guys are ever interested in coming to the town, uh, the name of it is called Kamlucha. It's really gorgeous. It really reminds me of my drive through California along the coastal highway. The water's just so, so blue. It's amazing. Can't really believe it. But we're, we still got about another hour and a half before we reach Kos. So let's head on out. This is the exact reason why we rented a car so that we can pull over whenever we wanted to. Off the road here, you've got these cliffs and there's even a staircase that leads down to the water. So we're gonna go check that out. So if you guys look just right off this highway, you've got this staircase where all the cars are pulling off and just walking down. And there's a boat right here out in the distance. And then you've got people right down here swimming. Look how blue this water is. It's incredible. Let's go down this way. Doesn't look like there's anyone here in the water. Wow. This is awesome. amazing finding an incredible place like this just right off the highway and you just jump into the water and enjoy a swim and the water is just perfect it's so crystal clear so blue you can see the fish the rocks at the bottom of the water man it's just absolutely gorgeous couldn't believe it as soon as we uh, drove right off the highway you could see the steps to walk down into the water I was like I can't believe we're about to do this <laughs> absolutely worth it and it's free Gotta be careful crossing the street here, but yeah, you just park your car here off the side and walk on down. This place is called Finicky, I believe. I'll put the name right down here below for you guys. Guys, check this out. All of this is Kos. Is that how you pronounce it? It honestly looks like we've arrived at Monaco with the huge hills in the background, the mountains. It's absolutely stunning. And the drive here was just on another level. We were driving through some valleys, some mountains, and the beaches and the waters along the way are just, just so incredible, guys. But we've got about another maybe five, 10 minutes to drive down this valley and down into town below and uh, check out the town and get some food hopefully and uh, find ourselves some accommodation because we haven't even booked the hotel for tonight. So hopefully it's gonna be not too expensive. Guys, let me tell you, trying to find a parking spot here in Kos is just a nightmare. The roads here are so tiny, it reminds you like somewhere of like Monaco and there's no way to find a parking spot. I mean, 
You just try to drive around these tiny little streets and if you find something, you grab it immediately. Finally! I guess we've arrived for lunch here at a place called Bella Vita. It's got a really cool rooftop here, restaurant overlooking the harbor here in Kos. And uh, it's actually an Italian, so we're having Italian food instead of Turkish food today for lunch, but we've ordered some lasagna and spaghetti. Well guys, that was a really good lunch actually. It cost us 112 lira, which is roughly about uh, 13 US dollars. Now we're gonna go try and figure out what there is to do here because I have no idea. We have not done our research. It's a lot of really cool restaurants here, it's cafes. It's mostly Italian, yeah. It's, they serve mostly Italian yeah. food here. Yeah, it's a lot of Italian, a lot of Greek food here. Um, and of course, obviously Turkish food. The streets are really tiny but really beautiful if you want to come packed. here. And packed, yeah. If you want to come here and take photos, this is a great spot to go. They also offer a lot of boat tours and paragliding tours as well, as well as some trekking tours down here. Man, um, diving. Diving, yeah, scuba diving. Kayaking. Apparently it's a really good place to go scuba diving. Uh, we asked for the price for a boat tour. For half day it was a thousand lira for a private boat and for a, a full day tour it cost two thousand lira for, uh, a for, full day tour. Yeah, for a full day private boat. So overall, not that bad in pricing uh, if you want to come out here and do some island hopping. But I think we're going to plan on doing some island hopping in Fetier possibly. So hopefully we'll see that, do that later. But now I think it's time to head out to the beach. Here I go again. I've lost my head in the clouds. Lonely covers my mouth and I'm waiting. You like to play pretend. Hati hati. Wow. As you guys can see, there's uh, no other place to park. Go, 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 go. As you guys can see, this is the backup. Wow, it is beautiful. You can see it from here. Apparently, the beach is called Kaputash. And it is one of the most famous beaches here in Kosh and wow, the water just stunning. stunning. That's all I can say. I can't wait to show you guys. So this is probably the busiest beach that I've ever visited and it just happens to be in Turkey but it's also one of the most beautiful beaches that I've ever visited. It even tops off Bali beaches. Uh, this honestly reminds me of a beach in Nusa Penida, Kling Kling Beach. Is it Kling Kling or even uh, Diamond Beach also. The water is just as blue as those beaches in Bali. It's, it's absolutely stunning but it's roughly about 6 o'clock at the time and uh, yeah, no checkpoint no bag check really you just come down you could bring some beers if you want to and uh, just enjoy the day they do have uh, umbrella rentals and uh, lounge rentals as well I'm not sure how much they cost but can't be that expensive I assume and they do have a restaurant up above the beach as well as changing rooms and showers if you guys need a shower or changing room down here so you could definitely spend uh, the whole day here if you really wanted to by the way guys, this is what the sand looks like. It's mostly rocks, not really sand. But if you guys do plan going in the water, uh, the bottom of the water is actually like mostly just flat rocks. It's not really sand at all. So I think uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, find some dinner hopefully and uh, pack up the car. You know what guys, for a beach that is completely free, not too bad. I would recommend coming here. I think this is how they bring the trash up. This thing. 
kind of smart. So guys, if you want to come to this beach, this is where you're going to be parking, on the side of the road pretty much. So get here early. Okay guys, we are back in Kos. We rented a hotel room here in the downtown area right along the main street where everything is literally. So we're gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick tour as to where we're staying here for the night. So our hotel is right here along the main street. It's called the Kos Kashmahal Hotel. Hello. Got our key to turn on all the electronics in here. Light switches, light switch for the bathroom. This is actually a really nice bathroom. Uh, my expectations were not very high for this place, but got a hair dryer, towels, really clean toilet, and a very nice shower. Everything's made of marble, so very impressive. And then exiting the shower, we have a closet. Pretty standard. Some slippers. I don't think we have a safe in here though. Got some extra pillows, towels. Yeah. And then this is the full room. So not sure the whole design of this place, but we have a double size bed as well as a single bed. So if you're traveling with friends, this is a great place. Um, got plugs and light switches on each side. This is Indonesia and European plugs. And another work desk area, TV, and we've got a balcony as well with this beautiful, stunning view of, well, another building. But overall, this place is pretty nice. It's right in the central area, right along the main street. This place cost us, I believe, 600 lira a night and we're only staying here for one day so this was actually the same exact price for as um, our hotel in Antalya actually so pretty good deal for especially for summer I think the the summer prices here um, in Turkey are a little bit higher than usual so just for your consideration um, but yeah not bad I think and the beds really comfortable so not complaining there but overall, we had an amazing road trip here down to Kos from, from downtown Antalya. It's about a three hour drive in. The drive down here was just so beautiful, guys. If, if you do have the chance, I absolutely recommend you guys taking a drive road trip down here to Kos. It's a, it's a beautiful road to drive on. It's a coastal, scenic road and you're gonna be just mesmerized by all the mountains and all the uh, small little beaches alongside the cliffside. It's, it's beautiful. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, road trip travel day. If you did, please give it a like. If you guys made it to the very end of the video, please consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. So I'm making a move Get up, get out Mr. Sun is shining on me I'm making a move